morning each and everyone. Once again, welcome back to the literature class. Myself Sharmila will teach you English 2 of class 5. I take my classes thrice a week. Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. Timing is 9.45. Okay student? I know you all knowing all this but still I just for the reminder told you to be on time. Okay students? So before to start any new thing I would like to give you one information. The information is regarding the notes of lesson 1. That poem waiting at the window. In my previous class or before that, I told you to write down the notes. So, I got some complaint that uh, is still not uh, seen on. So, I talked to sir. He told me that it was uploaded on 30th April. Now, the documents section having 6-7 pages. So, please students. Now go through all those pages. We will get it. Okay. Got it. You just search that uh, section. And you will get uh, the notes of lesson 1 and lesson 2 both to it. Because uh, lesson 1 and lesson 2 both the lessons I taught you. And the notes of both the lessons are uploaded. Okay students. So no doubts. Please check it. 6-7 pages are there now to go through all. Please check it properly. And some have got also, they just give me the message for it. Some have got the notes. So you two all who have not got, please search on, you will get it. Okay. Now, today I will give you the exercises of lesson 2. So as you did it last day, same way you will do now. Hope that all have got the books and copies. Right? So in the book, open lesson 2. Open lesson 2. Page number page number 1717. Page number 1717. Okay? Those who have not yet bought the book, please write down the page number 17. In your rough copy and write down the answers. What I will write, what I am going to write on the board. So the first exercise, time to answer. The first exercise, time to answer. Page number 17. I am writing over here. Page number 17. This is for the students who yet not bought the books. Please write on this page number 17 and the answer which I'll give you just now on the board. Is that clear? And other all having the books, you write on the answer in the book. Now we'll start. From the story. The story is about the conceited python. So, this uh, exercise is from the lesson. Choose the correct option. Three options are given. You have to choose the correct one. The sentence is, When it came to birds and animals, Grandmother drew the line at, Which is the correct answer? Three options are there. Monkeys, reptiles, squirrels. So, which is the correct answer? Reptiles. Please write down. Number one, reptiles. Reptiles over. No. Number two, the first to see grandfather. And the python was Toto, Grandmother and Mabel. So, first was the answer Toto. Right on. Number two. Toto. Who was Toto? 
thought it was a monkey. Correct. Third one. Grandmother told grandfather to lock the python in the where she told to lock in the three options poultry house, bedroom, bathroom. It is the correct answer. C1. That is bathroom. Right on. Bathroom. Bathroom. Over. Last one. Fourth one. Aunt Mabel spotted the python on the where she saw the python when she went to the garden. Three options. Dining table, guava tree, bookshelf. Guava tree. Right on. She saw the guava tree. Fourth one. Wow. This is over. Okay? Please check the spelling, children. Already the word given. Options are given. You have to choose the word. You have to choose the word. And to write. I have written here. And it's there in your book also. So please write the correct spelling. If you want, you can take the screenshot also. And later you check it. The words and the spelling. Okay students? Now turn page and take it out. The next exercise that is page number 19. Those who are doing in the rough copy. Write down page number 19. Page number 19. Ready? Now, this exercise is about the. This I am reading for you. You see in the book. We came across a few interesting phrases while reading this story. For example, drew the line, blood run cold. Drew the line means set a limit. And blood run cold means be very scared. Okay. Now do you know what is phrase children? Phrase. You could have studied in your grammar, English grammar. Okay, I'm just telling you what is a phrase. Phrase is a group of words. Okay, which give sense but not complete sense. Okay, which give sense but not complete sense. Like example, in the morning. So very sweet. Okay, then... Uh, my dear children, so all these words which I said just now are group of words. Are group of words. It's giving sense but not complete sense. So a group of words which uh, give sense but not complete sense is known as phrase. Okay. A phrase does not have a subject. A verb and a predicate. Okay. A phrase does not have subject, verb and predicate. That is known as phrase. Understood? Now here some phrases are given in the bracket. In the, in the options you have to select and write the correct in right place. Okay. I just read the phrases first and then after I just make you fit. Beat around the bush. Call it a day. Get out of hand. Hit the sack. A piece of cake under the wind. Okay, these are phrases. Phrases are the words which give sense but not complete sense. It does not contain 
subject, verb and predicate. That is called phrase. Okay. Now we will write. I will write on the board and you write in your book. The first one. After working continuously for 6 hours, the workers decided to dash and went home. Which phrase will come here? Any idea? First one. Call it a day. Call it a day. Right here. First one. Write the small letter. Call it a day. Right now. Call it a day. Do you do you get the meaning of this call it a day? Means what? Call it a day to call somebody. No, the meaning is decide to stop working. After working continuously for six hours, the workers decided to stop working. Means the phrase call it a day. Means decide to stop working. Meaning is clear of this phrase? And went home. And went home. Now it's clear. First one, please write down in the blank. First one. Now, second one. The meaning of this call it a day is clear. Decide to stop working. Now, second one. The teacher is absent today because she is feeling a bit. What answer will come here, children? Any idea? Under the weather. Write down. Number two. Under the weather. Spelling of weather. Please see and write. Not W-T-H-E-R. This is W-E-A-T-H-E-R. Weather. This is mean to the climate. So under, under the weather. Spelling of weather, please see to it. I hope you have it in children. So finish writing under the weather. The sentence is, the teacher is absent today because she is feeling a bit under the weather. Under the weather means not very well. Not very well. Okay. The sentence will come this way. The teacher is absent today because she is feeling a bit not well. Okay. Under the weather means not very well. Now, third one. Please don't dash. And tell me how I have done in the exams. So what will the answer? Which one is the correct answer to write here? Which one is the correct phrase to write here? Beat around the bush. Beat around the bush. You we'll write the fourth one. Third one, sorry. Third one. Beat. Around the bush. Write down today. Please don't beat around the bush. Write this. And tell me how I have done in the exams. Okay, students. Right now, I'll tell you the meaning. Beat around the push. This is the phrase, third phrase to write. Now, what is the meaning of this? Meaning is, 
stop talking about something which is uh, difficult or you can say unpleasant okay stop talking about something which is difficult or you can say unpleasant so answer you right beat around the bush please don't talk about unpleasant and tell me how i have done in the exams okay now fourth one fourth answer children the coach said that the new exercise would be what is which is the correct phrase the coach said that the new exercise would be just guess yourself which is the correct answer a piece of cake a piece of cake right down spelling of piece is c here and right i look in the book and write a piece of cake finished so a piece of cake meaning something which is easy to do something which is easy to do so the sentence will be this way the coach said that the new exercise would be easy to do the phrase is a piece of cake okay the fifth one the spelling of piece this one please write it correctly this is p i e c e this is p i e c e okay students okay now fifth one the principal agreed to let the students play on the field without a teacher's supervision so long as things did not so which is the correct phrase to fill here any idea get out of hand get out of hand right get out of hand please write down children get out of hand number 5 get out of hand what is the meaning of get out of hand what is the meaning of get out of hand to become difficult to control unmanageable uncontrolled okay so meaning is get sorry the phrase is get out of hand the meaning is become difficult to control uncontrolled unmanageable now the last one number 6 i am writing it here because if i will write it here then you will get confused so together all the answers will be there then after you take the screenshot and keep it so i am writing it here the c to it okay now the last answer it was already midnight when i dash after completing my project work now the answer is hit the sack hit the sack right at you hit the sack so all together six answers are here of the next exercise the exercise 
name is not given it's only the page number 19 time to learn new words about phrase okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 words are here of phrases and here this is the this is from the lesson okay this is options are given you have to choose and write and this is the phrase given you have to choose and write correct one so children you have written all that the last word which i gave you the last phrase sorry phrase which i gave you it was already midnight when i hit the sack hit the sack means go to bed okay so sentence will come this way it was already midnight when i went to bed after completing my project work so hit to sack means go to bed is completed now open page number 20 page number 20 exercise fill in the blanks with and but so or for this is what children these words are these are conjunctions these are conjunctions so what is a conjunction a conjunction is a word it is used to join two sentences or words okay conjunction is a word which is used to join two words or sentences like and but so or for okay and because so many are so now here you options are given and but so or and for now from these words you have to fill this exercise eight sentences are there and now you fill it. first one so conjunctions is clear. i think conjunction is clear to you know already you studied so it is clear first one would you like to have apples or oranges page number 20 number 1 right or second one suresh wants to visit chennai and mangalore and mangalore third one sanjana wants to go camping dash her brother wants to stay at home but written children number 1 number 2 number 3 now fourth one we must return to the hotel dash it is getting dark now for it is getting dark now right now for it is getting dark now these are conjunctions these are conjunctions number 5 abish does not know how to swim dash he joined swimming classes what is the word will come so so he joined swimming classes clear students then number 6 Tarun wants to bake a cake for his grandmother's birthday. Sorry, grandfather's birthday. Dash, his sister wants to bake muffins. So, what? Which conjunction will come from the option and? Number six, and. Number six. and now 
number seven. Arunima cannot read well. Dash, her eyesight is weak. Which conjunction will come here? For, for, her eyesight is weak. For, her eyesight is weak. Now, the last one, number eight. Number eight is, Ananya was tied after her ballet class. So, sorry. Ananya was tied after her ballet class. Dash, she went off to sleep. Answer will be, so. So, she went off to sleep. Ananya was tired after her ballet class. So, she went off to sleep. Now, children, please take the screenshot off because I am going to rub it. Just check your answer. First one or second one and third one but fourth one for fifth one so Sixth one and seven one four and eighth one so. So if you have written, it's okay, correct. But you can take the screenshot to check it. Okay? Because I'm going to rub it, I'm going to give the next exercise. Now student, that one is over. Now same page number below exercise. Time to spell it right. Time to spell it right. The down one exercise. Page number same, 20. Read these words from the story. Conceited, being, ancient, relief. Notice the use of EI and IE in these words. So now the below exercise which is given, you have to write IE or EI means we have to write the correct letters in proper to make the proper word. Okay. Now EI or IE, this you have to write. The word is already given. Only you have to fill with IE or EI. Okay children. Now the first one. First one is mischief. Write down. I E. I E. Mischief. Meaning of mischief is naughty. Meaning of mischief is naughty. Now, number two. Please, children, write correctly. E I and I E. Don't make confuse. Number two, science. Number two is science. Here also you will write I E. Science. I E. Number two, this side. Here, science is here. Number two, science. Word is given. Only you have to fill I E. But in exam, don't make this mistake. Of writing only I-E or E-I. If the word will come, to complete this word science, then you have to write a complete word. S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E -E, science. And underline I-E. Clear that? Now, number three. The word is science meaning you? No, no. Science is a subject which you study about physical world and nature, natural laws. This you study in science. The teacher is, science teacher teaches you about the physical uh, world and natural laws. Now, next is deceit. Number three, deceit. Now write E I. Now write E I. Deceit. D E C E I T. This means what is the meaning of deceit? 
meaning of deceit is to make believe somebody which is not true. To make believe something, somebody which is not true. Okay? The next word is, fourth one is deceive. Meaning is same. This is third one is deceit is noun and deceive is verb. Meaning is same. Okay? Now, deceive. Same spelling. One is V, one is T. One is deceit and one is deceive. The spelling of deceit is D-E-C-E-I-T. And spelling of deceive, D-E-C-E-I-V-E. -E. Deceit is noun and deceive is verb. Okay? Both are clear? Now next. Number five. The word is laser. The word is laser and you write here E. I. E. I. Laser. Laser means free time. Laser means free time. Now, number six. Number six is word is foreign. Word is foreign. That means out of country. Number six also write E. I. E. I. That is foreign and foreign means out of country. And foreigner means the person who staying out of country. This is foreign word. Place. Out of country. Now next. Number seven. Relief. Number 7, relief. Now write I and E. Relief. Number 7 is relief. Meaning of relief is to make situation stop or get better. To make situation stop or get better. This is the meaning of relief. Now the last word is efficient. The last word is efficient. Spelling you will write I E. I E. Efficient. Efficient meaning is able to work well. Able to work well. So, children, now look into your book and say the word. Only the letters E I and I E you have it in. To see in the book. And I'm saying the word. And you say with me. Okay? You say with me. First one. Mischief. Second word. Science. Third one. Deceit. Fourth one. Deceive. Fifth one. Lazer. Sixth one. Foreign. Seventh one. Relief. And the last word. Efficient. So, please again, I am telling you to take the screenshot of this. Okay, students. Now, this uh, notes of lesson 2 already been given to you, uploaded. So, please check it on the school's website. That is already been uh, uploaded there. I think uh, you have done it also, many of them. Who are smart children, they already have finished writing. So, please all write the notes. Of lesson 1 and lesson 2. Okay. Now in the next uh, class. That will be tomorrow Tuesday. I will start with the third lesson. Okay. And third lesson. The homework is to you. To please read the lesson. Only read the lesson. Try to understand the lesson. That is my work to make you understand. But you just read. And see. And if you find any word. Which is difficult for you. Not knowing the meaning. Open the dictionary, find the meaning and just keep over here. Okay? Now, take care.